Hi, and welcome to Lesson 5 of HTML and CSS. All the code you see is available at www.tomakewebsite.com. First thing I want to do is take a look at Lesson 4. So in Lesson 4, we added this banner in the header section. We took away our borders around the left side, right side, and center. And we added some text and some headings. So this is a H2, which is using the class Style1 to center it. Here's a H3 which we've also centered using that class, a h4, and then we've got some text inside some paragraphs. In today's lesson, we're going to create a couple of new pages, and we're going to add a table of links to each page. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just edit this page to add the links, and then we'll copy and paste it so that our other pages also have the same table, just to stop repeating our work. So we'll go into our lesson five, and we will copy all the HTML and we'll just paste it over the top and then we'll save that. Go back and we'll grab our CSS, copy that and paste it over the top of our previous and just save that as well. So we'll take a look at our HTML first. As always, we've got our head, HTML, our title. Our reference to our style sheet, all our separate divisions, and here we have our board our table. This is a table which is going to hold all our links. So a table is made up of three main parts: the table tag, which can have their own attributes, a tr, which is a row, and a td, which is just the table item. Inside here we have a link. This links to this page, index.html. We then have a link to friends.html and video.html. So a link is made up of a href, where the page is, that ends that. Then we just write some text of what we want to display, and then we close off the tag completely. Here we have the end of the item, and the end of the row, and of course, the end of the table. The rest of the HTML is exactly the same. We have our divisions, our h2, h3, h4, and our paragraph. Now we're going to take a look at our style.css. The same again, we've got our body, our container, and here we've got an A, which is going to tell us what this link looks like. So here's our A, it's overwriting that. It's got a certain color, a font size, no decoration. Here we have text transform to uppercase. So no matter what you type it as, it will always go to an uppercase character. And then we've got our different fonts. Here, we've got an A colon visited. This means that on your page, when someone clicks on it, it's gonna change to these attributes, a different color, font size, text decoration, or font. And here we have hey colon hover. That is when they go to the link and they just hover over the top of it. If welcome was a link and I hovered over it like this, then it will change its attributes to what's in here. So a different background color and a different text color. And the rest you've seen before, paragraphs, headings, and our style. So now that we've created our table of links here, we're going to create these other pages, friends.html and video.html. So we'll just go to where your files are, right click on index, copy, right click somewhere else, and do paste. It'll come up as copy of index. Just right click on that, go rename, and call it friends. Then just right click elsewhere again, go paste, Right click, rename, and call it video. Now we'll just open up friends in notepad. And we're just going to delete everything inside the main. And we'll keep our table here because we want every single page to have the links. So we'll just save that. Then we'll do the same in video. Open with notepad, delete everything inside the main. 
and save. So we'll just open up index to take a look at and here you'll see our links. My home, my friends, my video. We click my friends. It's blank because we deleted everything inside the main. My video will be the same. And as you can see, as I hover over it, it changes the background color and the text color. We'll just take a look at that table again. So it was table, we have a row, then we have an item, and then you can put whatever you like in there. And we've included a link to index.html. That's all for lesson five. Come back for lesson six and you'll learn some.